One key way to communicate with both parents and students is um, blog posts. So what we're going to look at today is um, how to create a blog post from start to finish. So right now we are just at the home page for the website. What you want to do first is you want to go right here to the log in area and go ahead and choose that if you're not already logged in. I personally always log in with Google. That way my Google account is linked and I'll have a profile picture and I don't have to put in my email or my password and I don't have to remember a password for another site, any of that stuff. So I go ahead and just do log in with Google and get my school email. And then you're going to know you're logged in because it's going to be right up here. You're going to have your school profile image right there. So um, I go right up here to team members and click on that. Your profile should be the first one that pops up. And then you'll be able to see everybody else's. But if you click on your profile, you can customize everything that's on here. And I would definitely do that before you start blogging. That way, if you do a blog, if you get some traffic from that, um, parents or students can come here and they can check out your profile. So if you just look through here, you can click, click on edit and you can change your name up here. It just brings Sarah Potter in from your Google profile. You can click right here and change your um, profile picture. You can come right here and change the banner. This really does nothing but make our page look more interesting. We would really like for everybody to have a banner image, um, something that kind of shows your personality, shows your classroom, something, something like that. So that is just your profile area. Then right down here are just going to be links for you. These would be all of your blog posts. If you're in the middle of writing a blog post, don't worry if you don't think that you have enough time to completely do one. You can start one and save it. That's totally fine. And then any of your blog comments, likes, all of the stuff. And then this, we also have a forum. So a blog and a forum are two different things. The blogs are going to be like articles that you post or write. The forum is just going to be kind of like a chat area um, between us. And then information about your account, notifications, and different settings. So you can just click around there and get um, familiar with those. But what we're going to look at is um, how to um, create a blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and click blog post. And if you have blog posts, they will be in this area. So if somebody comes to the team member area, <coughs> if someone comes to the team member area and they want to see all of the blog posts by a certain teacher, all they need to do is click that teacher and then blog post and they will be able to see everything. As far as your end, you will just click right here in this little corner where it says create a post. That opens up just a blank um, blog post area where you can put your title. And then here is your blog content here. Down here is where you can add different media. So if you want to attach an image, um, if you want to add a whole bunch of images, you can do a different gallery. You can add video. You do have to add a video via either YouTube or Vimeo. So you can't just upload one straight from like your camera roll or your computer. This is a divider line. And then this is to insert code. Um, and it, just, it auto saves, so that's just showing that it saves. You can also, if you come right over here, you can categorize it, which we have categories for all of our um, different teachers. So you would want to choose a category. So you would, you, you would do choose category and then you would do Potter. Or if we have another category in the future, you choose the appropriate one. 
so here up here I skipped over you can do post settings so um, on our news this is where like for everything our blog posts come up under news so the cover image that's what's gonna come up when your blog post is published so what do you want your parents and your um, students to see so you do need at least one image to go with your with your blog so that's where you can put your cover image if you don't specifically upload something here it's just going to take whatever you put in your um, post so there's that um, and then the SEO is um, what gets listed out online so it's automatically going to fill in most of this stuff for you so you really you don't need to worry about that okay um, and then you can just save it if you wanted to save it um, and then if you're not ready to publish it you just save as draft and then it will go back to that draft area that I showed you earlier um, I'm gonna go ahead and publish this just so that you can see what it does and I'll go find just a random picture let's see on there okay and then this once you add something in here you get all of your other options so this is the original size of the image and then this will tell you like how big you want your image and then this will wrap it with your words so if you want it whatever side you want it justified you can make it have a link. Um, you can click on settings um, and put a caption. Um, the alt text is if you hover over the image, that's what it will say. So you can put that um, on there. Replace image and then just delete. So I'm going to move this back over there and then I'm going to go ahead and publish so that you can see where it goes on your screen and where it goes for everyone. So for everyone, if you click on news, it's going to go right here. So here it comes up on the news feed for everyone. So if anybody does a blog post, this is where it's going to come up. Um, for you, if you go back to your page, at, um, team members I'm sorry you go to team members and then if you click on yourself with your blog now it has three posts and my most recent blog post is going to be here it has your image which see his head's cut off that would be a reason to go in and change the cover image so it looks better and it's not that awkward head cut off and then my title was sample title so it's right there and then if we wanted to go in and read it you just click on it and here is our blog post so um, that's one way to get in there I don't know if you noticed it or not but you can also just click on news and there's a button right here that says create post so you can just go in straight from news so just like most stuff there's a couple ways to do everything so you can either go in through your own profile or you can just go news and then throw your blog post down there. If you have any questions, just either put it underneath this tutorial in the comments or I would recommend going to the forum and um, creating a topic there so that we can have conversation.